Hi guys, today we have Shishit. So he secured year one in IIT JE Advance, and today he will be sharing us. Uh, so recently he joined ISC in one of the new course in ISC that is BTech in Math and Computing, right? Yeah. So he will be discussing, uh, like we will be mo uh, discussing more about what is BTech program in ISC, when did it started, and uh, the course structure. Also, we will go through preparation strategy uh, strategies like when he was studying for IIT mains and all so so we will start with him so Shishir you can go with your background uh, when did you started for preparing for IIT exam and all so I am Shishir I got uh, all India rank in J advance as he told and uh, I started preparing for J advance like from 8th class uh, I was I joined in Narayana and they gave me coaching from there At that time it was not that serious and the serious preparation started in 11th and 12th where uh, I used to study it like 12 hours a day for every day except Sundays. Okay, so 12, it was 12 hours a day? Yeah. Okay, so apart from studying, what did, did, did you have any extra activity like you or something like that? So like uh, when I was not studying, I used to play badminton or I used to like okay. sometimes watch YouTube videos on Ruby's Cube. So badminton for daily or it is like weekly? As uh, it wouldn't know. be like that, it would mostly be like when I'm tired or uh, whenever I have free time, depending on who. So, in 2022, like how many students appeared for exam? Uh, like, can we know approximately? Uh, around 10 lakh people appeared for JE mains okay. and 2 lakh got qualified for JE advance. Okay. So, you are one in 1 million? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So, we will directly go with ISC part. Okay. So, when did you decide it, okay, that you, you are going to join BTEC in math and computing or uh, is it like someone suggested you randomly and you just took it or you already knew it before? So like I it did come in my recommendations in YouTube where mm. I like uh, was scrolling through it somewhere in the very starting. Mm. I just looked at it but I was like I think at that time the course structure is not good they just announced the course I was like maybe I might depends. Okay. Then after like uh, after the exam then I saw more about the course structure I spoke to a few people about how IIC is how IIT is and uh, how, what I want to do and how it might uh, when be beneficial for me then using this I uh, joined IIC. So you came to know about this BTEC in math uh, after your rank or it was before only? Really I knew that it was there like around when it released but okay. I, that time they had not given all the ex explicit details of it. They just told that there's a math and computing course. Okay. And your professor, did your professor guide you like okay you should you can go for ISC for if you if you are interested in research. So uh, uh, Shishir already mentioned me that he is more interested in research part. Though like later on we can't say what he, he is going to offer, but uh, initially his main aim was to go for research. So uh, usually what what is your interest like research in uh, what areas? So like I wanted to do like uh, research and maybe make that into an industrial product because that will be more uh, harder to replicate and so on mm. and mostly my main uh, interests are quantum computation and machine learning oh, quantum computation okay. so did your professor mention okay you can go for IC or he was uh, speaking about it when in like coaching like I think in a, even in like 8th, 9th, 10th mm. that time mainly like uh, he was telling more about IIC because probably we are more free and in 11th and 12th, because we are studying for JE, maybe he didn't tell that at first, but in our uh, early high school and all that time, we were studying more about IIC and how research uh, is best in India and so on. So, suppose if there was no BTEC course in IIC, then uh, would you have tried for BS also because because of the research part or you would have tried some IITs or something? Else? I would have probably tried some IITs because even there like good research goes on there. Okay. And like uh, as I told you like my mm -hmm. more uh, interest are like more co computing than math. So it's mm -hmm. like, okay. Though so they are math heavy, they are like even have uh, what uh, they even involve some computers. So like I didn't want to join a BS course. Okay. 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 So okay, you are kind of more interested in computing part than math. Yeah. But in IC you will you, usually get more maths. Yeah, but English. like if I take BS in maths, it's like I can do the maths, but I don't even get the flavor of computing. Mm, okay. It's fine if I get, I know that for doing computing course, I do have to do maths, but mm. I do need some part of computing as well. Okay, while preparing for means, like you, you already mentioned that you started seriously from 11th standard. Yeah. So from 8 to 11th, studied at 11th. 8 to 10th, it was more like uh, just, uh, 
complete going the from basic, uh, basics and uh, just do the textbooks of 11th and 12th, the NCRT textbooks. Okay, you started textbooks for 11th and 12th? Uh, that, I started that in 9th and 10th. Okay. Huh. In 8th, we are doing like, I think, ICSC books of 8th, 9th, 10th. Okay. And like, while preparing for exam, like most of the students usually, they, they don't tend to get more involved in studies after a particular time of studies. For example, if I am studying continuously for one month, then after that I will mostly not concentrate much enough. Basically, what we can say, you should be more calm and composed yeah. while studying for uh, whole, uh, this advanced thing. Like how did you, like what was your motivation behind you? Like there should be one at motivation. The, like, at the starting, uh, in the 8th, 9th, 10th, that time more I was like, if I study good now, maybe if I get a good job because I'll go to a good college. Mm. And then probably I'll get like, I'll be more settled in life, a basic understanding. Mm -hmm. Then in 11, 10, 12, I got to know about more stuff and how uh, things go on. And I was like, uh, I wanted to do something which will impact uh, humans. Okay, okay. So when did you realize that, okay, you want to go in research part and also plus the engineering part because now you are doing BTEC. So. It is B-Tech. In 12th, I realized that I really didn't want to do a job or like a simple startup if I'm doing one. So okay. I was like, yeah, I want to do like a research or just startup or just go to a research, okay. depending on how it works out. And mm -hmm. Like even I got interested in the uh, subjects itself rather than just like trying to read for IIT exam. Mm -hmm. The subjects became more interesting. I started learning more about them outside, what is there in the syllabus and uh, by videos and so on. Now to like maths, physics and chemistry, which was a good, like, the which subject you liked most? I liked maths the most. Maths. Okay. And which one the worst? I didn't like physics that much. Physics. Okay. I think the main uh, reason why I liked maths, uh, because in 11th and 12th it was COVID time. Mm. There are a lot of like uh, <coughs> YouTube videos popping up in maths. Like, there was a surge of YouTube videos and I think uh, there was like, some summer of math exposition by three blue one one which okay, okay. like encouraged so many people to put so many math videos uh, like an abundance of new math knowledge being spread out which made me interested into math uh, right right you can also check out some machine learning stuff from that yeah, because yeah. there was a lot of much, uh, mathematical machine learning mm -hmm. stuff there, there uh, i have seen few of the video how was your semester uh, the first semester went in is so the first semester uh, at the starting it was going very uh, it was going pretty slowly like it was probably because they were probably like doing most of the things they were doing. We had already done it in the 11th and 12th. When did it start? It? In August. It started on October 17th. October 17th. So usually it is October only. It should start in August 1st, but our exams got postponed. Okay. Uh, which exams? J and Vance. So it was okay. then on J August 28th. Okay, because of the COVID, it yeah. got postponed. Okay. So that is why it started from October and it ended in this. It was February. Okay. okay. So how many courses were there in first semester? So we had four courses, Maths, Physics, Chemistry and uh, Computer Science. Okay, Computer Science was one of the courses. Mm -hmm. So it was mandatory course or uh, it was your choice like whatever you want to take in the first semester? So we had a choice of taking two subjects out of Physics, Chemistry and Biology. Mm -hmm. Maths and Computers were mandatory as we were uh, in Maths and Computer. Okay, as it is Maths and Computer. So like can you brief about course, the like, total course structure, like how many credits you have to complete in BTEC? Like if you know, I am I'm sure that like you are not. Uh, so in BTEC we have to complete 128 credits. 128. Uh, and that's the minimum credit requirement, and I think uh, more credits are there in the first four semesters, so that in the ending we can do more internships and re research research okay. projects and so on. Okay, so in the first four semester maybe you will go four 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 or something like that. We go for around uh, 16 to 20 credits. In the 16 to 20 credits. Okay, so hmm, maybe. First four semester or? Each okay. semester. Mm -hmm. Okay, first four semester. So I guess then it it leaves us more four semesters. Two more years. Yeah, two more years. Yeah, four For semesters. Research and then research. we can be more relaxed in what we take. Okay. Did you got anything like uh, when when the faculties or prof will allow you to go for internships or something like that? Or you don't know? Already? We, I still don't know. I'm still thinking of uh, waiting mm -hmm. for like second year because there's a basic machine learning and artificial intelligence course in second year so mm -hmm. I wanted to do an internship after that okay. on something related to that. So you want to continue your research work in yeah. AML or some science part? I am thinking of AIML or quantum computation. Quantum so like computation. I'm, I will try to try out quantum computation sometime in my 
course and see how it goes and compare those both and see which are goes better okay so uh, there is there is some courses for quantum computing in is there is in is you have to take them as electives later okay as an electives yeah okay and for machine learning also you will take it as an elective only it is a compulsory course in the fourth sem then i guess we can take more advanced things in uh, okay. as electives so okay so in the first semester they already put that data structure and algorithms and in second also i guess there will be some other mathematical mathematical coding in part. computer science we have first semester we have programming and data structures and okay. uh, in second semester we have our computer systems computer systems so you are thinking to go for phd in ai and ml part only like yeah. mostly if not quantum then ai yeah. ml okay. phd in these things is everything goes well. okay so you you already decided it like, like you you will not go for industrial exposure or something after btech i probably won't go for a job or something after How was ISC in in your sense? Uh, is what like it was hectic or something like uh, you can do it on the way? Ah, uh, in this uh, few weeks it was hectic in January like uh, in the last few months. Then suddenly the every every teacher is like suddenly giving quizzes and sudden okay exams a lot of exams, exams, exams and there are final exams coming for us. Okay, so when did you is your final exam starting? It starts on thirteenth. Thirteenth Feb, and it will end seventeenth. Seventeenth Feb, so four exams on th- five days. Okay, in five days. So after every day there is one exam or something. Yeah, like every day five days there is one exam. Okay, five courses are there or four. So there's bio which I didn't take. So that okay. is there in one of the days. Okay, rest of the student took bio also. No, like you have to take two out of three. So okay, two out of three. Physics, chemistry, and bio. You have to take two out of them. So I think some some people took bio and didn't. Okay. Can you like explain your overall first semester experience? Like how how was the campus? The campus is actually very beautiful. It's uh, like outside Bangalore. It's more like an uh, more roads, more like an hectic, hectic place, and you don't feel like calm there. It seems hmm. like it's a very calm place, and usually dust is there outside. I see when when you enter, I see then you will see a totally cold weather kind of thing. Yeah, actually, like outside, I see I used to get uh, cold a lot. Here, hmm. I have not got sick till now. Uh, no, <laughs> maybe you will get something. <laughs> Because because of the weather change because hmm. sometimes weather change drastically, uh, but it's okay. Uh, no, because I'm in Bangalore, I'm I guess used to that. Oh, very used to it. Okay, okay, right. But overall, it's decent place to. Be yeah, it's a good place and it's very like calm and there are many places where I can just sit and just uh, relax outside. Okay. Did you try some extra curricular activities here, like swimming or something? So I play badminton here like almost daily. Uh, you you go to daily for. I play badminton daily. I do. I saw some Rubik's cubes and uh, hmm. I have tried frisbee once. Okay. It's just fun to solve it, like to find uh, okay. ways to do it faster, and uh, uh-huh. it may improves my thinking of. There are different it. algorithms also. Yeah, there are different it. algorithms. Hmm. Thinking which might be better. Hmm, right. Then what else do you think should be covered? So like uh, in IIC, I learned that everything what I do should not be like to. achieve a main goal there are times when i can relax and uh, take it slow while studying and enjoy the atmosphere have some fun then again study like have you ever visited iic before like as you are from bangalore only so, so like i uh, visited a uh, open day of iic in 10th in 10th standard yeah that actually was like interesting cause i came to a uh, okay science stuff my science idea. stuff okay. uh, one one thing i visited was about bio and the other one i visited here was about robotics and uh, Robotics. About I guess it was about AI. I'm not exactly sure, but mainly yeah. robotics. Okay, so you already like once visited IIC. Yeah, it was like a nice place and mm-hmm. so many inventions. And mm-hmm. Had like a good discussion about what are the advantages and disadvantages of coming here. And, mm-hmm. and after taking everything, they were like fine with me going anywhere because uh, it okay. didn't make a huge difference, but there was like a slight differences. Like, and mm-hmm. this suited my interest more than other colleges. Mm, right, right. Because you were already interested in research and all. Yeah, and like other IITs didn't have a course in uh, quantum computation. Like in mm. in BTEC, they had it for masters. So even I was like, maybe. Uh, but it is not like that. Like if you came to IIT, then you will only focus on research. There is also industrial. Yeah, like part even too. I want to do internships and do that. Huh. Like maybe even I will go for a job if I like change my mind in the four years. But yeah, but I think most of the people in IIT are. 
oriented towards research and there's a enigma outside that why is it for research yes yes because of that only like people think like, like okay it is for research only but it's not like that uh, the case because mostly you will get to sit on most of the big campuses yeah yeah like, most of the big campus know like what is isc so yeah i've speak i've spoken speaking. to some uh, recruiters from companies and they tell that uh, they prefer isc people uh-huh. come to iit and at least master people ha uh-huh. ha and right. probably like here also like uh, for btech also is going to grow like btech to like i have seen bs student they usually don't go for placements though they hmm. get it but they usually go out of india for psg or maybe mba or something but mostly they continue their research work uh, yeah, even yeah. in science field because in science field isc is one of the best yeah you know the best way you can get get into uh, a lot of like all departments are there for example that aerospace department is there mm-hmm. all the different chemistry departments are there yeah, like three chemistry departments there is hmm, yeah. three chemistry departments are there and also for biological also there are a lot of yeah there are a lot of, a lot of uh, departments okay so uh, what is a what are your future plans so like we can't mm-hmm. initially decide like okay i am going to do this, this but still you have uh, some, like thought something like for example will you go outside india after, after btech or something like that i think yeah after btech i'll probably go outside india or maybe choose isc for a phd i want to phd in isc i might do my ma- i might do an integrated masters here integrated yeah. masters okay and then maybe go for a phd for foreign university okay so can you convert uh, from btech to in, uh, integrated masters yeah i have a choice in every time i can choose that in four years so how many students are there in btech so btech the seat uh, number of seats is 52 i guess there are around 48 to 50 students in btech okay so total number of students are 50 is out of those 48 are there okay so everyone is taking almost same courses like three courses are mandatory like that is physics chemistry and that math one physics chemistry and bio you have to take any two mm-hmm. maths and computer is a mandatory okay maths and cs is uh, yeah. mandatory okay. so like there is a like uh, m- many people are thinking to choose physics or chemistry or bio you want to suggest to like new people out there what should they focus on or what should they mostly like how they should be self motivated so what for the preparation i would say they should focus on the uh, 11th and 12th textbooks and uh, the previous year questions of iit jnrs mm. and then how to get the motivation is like more like the college life here is like a, in iits or like iits it's a very good college life we have a lot of freedom uh, at least you can think of college life like mm. uh, how you are going to stay for the, the rest four years like being here like we have a lot of freedom of what we can do and uh, Hmm. Here, like even like uh, we can go out of the campus at any time and come inside. And and there is no restrictions. There is no restrictions, basically. and you can also brainstorm with like hmm. like-minded people. And there are a lot of smart people here, and the course structure is also very flexible for BTEC, for maths and computing. Uh, for BTEC, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, it might be flexible. And like, what about if someone wants to join IIC? Like, suppose he he is giving J advance now. Hmm. Then what are the points he should like count? while opting for colleges maybe iits or isc because isc only mm-hmm. has one course right btech in, in maths and computer mm-hmm. but uh, different iits have a lot of btech courses mm-hmm. and mostly people prefer csc then maybe bc and then ee or something like that i think that the computing course here is like on par with the csc courses there i'm not mm-hmm. exactly sure of how it may be better or worse cuz mm-hmm. this like in isc there are more research uh, possibilities in maths and even like in computer science and like because you are even with ba students you get like uh, more research opportunities because they try to go for research opportunities and we get to know a lot of places where they are offering research uh, mm-hmm. like summer projects or something in many colleges and we try to apply for them right and for internships as bangalore is a good place you can apply in the companies in bangalore also mm, right right Also, one more thing is, did, have you ever talked with the other rankers, top rankers from Advance, who has joined some different IITs, like how their courses are going or something like that? Yeah, I've spoken to a few rankers in IIT Bombay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most other top rankers joined there. So. They would have taken CSC or something. Yeah, CSC. so like in, this is the first year, so like half of the people have computer science, half of the people like don't have computer science in the first semester. Uh, in Bombay. Yeah, it's like in the first year, all the all the 1000 people or something have the same uh, oh same courses yeah okay 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 
So let's so they start out more heavily on the second year to fourth year. Mm, maybe. So in the first semester they might be having the same courses for your chemistry, maths, physics. Yeah, like even a mechanical engineer and uh, computer science engineer will have the same courses. Until now, what I've heard is like uh, IITs are not a uh, hectic uh, as IIC. Mm. But maybe probably like I feel that in the second year they get more hectic because right now like all the courses are same for everyone, so they might want to keep less hectic. Mm. Mm. While opting for in college. So like what you should think about opting in college is mostly like the opportunities you get there. IIC or IITs like there are a lot of uh, colleges which uh, prefer both of them and will take them mm. as their uh, high priority list. And the difference, main difference comes in IIC and IITs are most majority of people in IITs are like job oriented and majority of people in IIC are research oriented. Mm. And the problem there is like if you are in the wrong place with the wrong mindset, your mindset will change over time because you try to like follow the majority again. Mm. And so that will, like, if you are want to do research oriented, then if you come here, like, you are just strengthen your will to do, be research oriented. And if you go there, it might, like, reduce your will to be a research uh, oh, oriented. Yeah, there are many people who have gone to higher studies, but the thing is, like, uh, it's lesser there. And maybe it's, like, not that well appreciated as an IIC. Hmm. Right. So your future plan is going for PhD outside India or something? Yeah, my future plan... Maybe an uh, integrated master's in PhD or I'll do the master's here and go for PhD. Okay. You just completed your uh, 12. So uh, most of the people don't know like whether they want to go for research. Like they can't decide. They just understand, okay, I will go for the company because there I am going to earn this, this amount of money. So like my father works in Times of India, so he knows a lot about these stuff and all. Okay. So like he's just spoken to a lot of people, then he also, because of him, I, I could speak to a lot of people. Mm. So I could know the views of others and how they think and what's going on in the company and etc. Okay, so before opting for IC, have you connected with any person in IC? Like any yeah, I've connected, uh, spoken to a few professors in IC and how it goes here. Okay, so they might have explained you. Okay. Mm. In BTEC, in, though there was no much of branding in BTEC, I guess. In, uh, at your time, no one knew like there was a new course in BTEC or something. Like, like after the J advance, yeah, like almost like uh, none of my friends knew it. Knew it. I, I think I told them after the registration was ended about this. And uh, that I see. Okay, after I see registration ended, you told them that I'm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, because because it was only first year. Uh, hmm. I guess slowly, slowly people will get to know. Like in a few years, I can. Uh, Totally imagine this being like in comp mm. in par with the top uh, two three IITs definitely. Mm. Uh, but still, there is only one BTEC branch for now. Mm. So uh, we will have maybe to see. it's actually a good thing because like. Uh, but um, uh, what I think is suppose they also included this BTEC thing, right? So now I'm not sure, but maybe I still uh, more focus on placement orient oriented things. Because mm -hmm. because they they mm -hmm. need BTEX to be placed somehow. Yeah. Oh, BTEX are interested in research, but suppose if seventy people are there, then thirty are interested in research. Yeah. Yeah. Forty will may like they might want, want to, get to, placed. To, uh, to get placed. So then I see will more work on placement part. That might be. I yeah. think it's going to like uh, develop based on our suggestions and what they do. Because even mm -hmm. as this is the first year, they're probably open to more suggestions from our students and what we want. Mm -hmm. So to get the best out of us, at least in the first year. Mm, right, right. After taking the feedbacks, maybe they will see. Uh, like, have you ever talked to BA students, like your seniors or something? Yeah, I've spoken to many BA students. Okay, okay so in this B Tech, they, they are, the students are not coming from KVP, right? they are directly coming from JEE Advance. Okay. But in BS, they used to come from uh, KVPI plus JE Advance and something like yeah. that. Yeah. But now, I think KVPI is not there. Yeah. Okay, from this year only they removed. They removed KVP. So now BS students will also come from JE Yeah, they'll course. come from the same class. Okay, so suppose if you are interested in science research, research in science kind mm. of fields, then maybe you will go for BS in physics, mm. maths, or something like that. And if you want an uh, engineering taste plus research, then you will go for B tech, B -tech yeah. in math and computer. Yeah. Uh, like that is what we see for now mm. because both admissions are from JE Advanced only. Yeah, and even like we can't be sure of how the B.Tech Math and Computing course will go in the future, how mm -hmm. it will develop. 
But yeah. I don't think there will be more placement of Intrit because right now BS and BTEC people uh, are like interact, we interact as uh, classmates and so on. BS and BTEC people. So, okay, so usually have common courses or Common courses, we have common courses. So it's like more like, uh, okay. as I told, as it's more fleshed out for research here and then like less placement of, less place people who go for placements. We don't talk more about placements here. Okay. Right now, maybe okay. in the fourth year we might. Hmm. So I guess the only difference in BS and BTEC for now is just a course curriculum maybe. Hmm. Uh, like they have included few of the computer science courses in BTEC and math and, in math and computing and in BS. Yeah. There might be a, like some differences in the courses. And apart from it, uh, course curriculum like like number of credits are same. For the number of credits are same for both BS for and both. BTEC. Okay. Hmm. So BS is also for four years. Uh, it is hmm. also four year program only. So, hmm, it's kind of same only for now. The only thing is engineering part has been included. Yeah, and anyway, like uh, IIC has a good masters in masters program in computer science. And hmm. The same courses have been taught to us, I guess, like after the fourth semester, all the electives are the courses in CSA. Okay, so you can opt for M- uh, the MTech courses also. Yeah, like I don't think they are going to make new courses for us after fourth semester. Uh, I think it is same for BS students also. They yeah, even they, they have like the courses from my masters. From masters. Uh-huh. So like we get uh, very high, like okay. top level courses from actually uh, like uh, it has uh, been there for a long time. So it mm-hmm. is a good course. Mm-hmm. So you can opt, opt for more advanced machine learning courses like advanced deep learning or something yeah. like that. And maybe for example game theory is there one, one of the mm-hmm. courses in CSA department. Yeah. Okay. Is there any optimization course in first year or something? We have a numerical methods course in our third semester. Third semester. Numerical methods of optimization. It's probably for solving equations. I'm not sure if it's for optimization. Uh, Maybe. maybe. Because I guess there will be one course Mm -hmm. for optimization too. I think maybe there's a convex optimization course or CS. For convex. Uh, Convex optimization is kind of advanced because most of the... Maybe that's like an elective. Uh, Maybe it it will be elective. You can mention if if you want to speak some few points until now like the experience in IIS is very positive I'm like a good amount has been taught and uh, mm-hmm. I'm learning a lot I'm even doing some self-study which is helpful and the teachers are uh, pretty good they are uh, very open to suggestions and they're suggesting me for questions and they're good at referring other people where I can mail them for asking my doubts and etc so you can also give yourself time sometime yeah so you can you are getting that that much time here. Yeah, it's a very free course, and we have enough time to work on uh, new things and like for assignments also. Okay. And courses are kind of you can do it. Yeah. Like uh, I just want to know like after you switch from preparation for that advanced thing and then later jump into that this courses curriculum, like how does it feel like? At the start, I had a small problem of like managing my timetable because like. Okay. Uh. Going from mess, coming back, and even attending classes, and maybe I'll be. And uh, it's more like there's no uh, external force like uh, mm-hmm. making me study. So it was more like I had to be self motivated also. Mm, right. So, like at the start for a one month, it didn't go properly. After that, I figured uh, to make a timetable and mm, like fix how the schedules and learn to how to manage my time properly. Like, even in IIC, it's more like they leave you more free. <coughs> they just like we are above 18. It's, you are responsible for what you do here. Yeah. And whatever you want to do, yeah, you do. We won't keep more restrictions. You just know that you are responsible for them. Hmm. I think that should be the case. That should be the case. So, so that, like people will learn. Freedom will bring out like responsibility and uh, it will even bring out creativity. Right. So is there any attendance criteria for the courses? Or it depends on prof to prof? I think a basic attendance criteria was around like 70 percent. Or like it was it is basic or or it, it depends on course courses because I'm not sure about BTEC one but for MTech like few of the prof usually mention okay, mm-hmm. okay you should have 70 percent attendance only few of them but like 80 percent of the prof will not. Like I think for the compulsory courses there's like a minimum bar I think for the optional courses there is like depending on the professor or the grading and all this is based on the professor but I think this is for the compulsory courses, they have just keep it, kept a bar because like at the first few years, I guess they think that we are not that responsible so they want us to at least 
and uh, courses are relatively graded or what that depends on the professors like most of our courses here are relatively graded uh, so currently in the first semester it all of them were relatively or i think i think biology is not relatively graded i think rest all are relatively graded okay apart from biology everything was relatively graded yeah okay and, and that's a good thing because like they can make harder papers with that and also so with btech bs students are also sitting on the, in the same bs first year students also sitting on this in the same yeah like the physics chemistry and maths class they have we have their common classes common classes so i guess their strength might go till 100 or something we have like around uh, 100 bs students and 50 btech students 100 bs and 50 so 150 students approx for physics yeah. chemistry maths yeah okay and then later i th- guess they will get divided we'll get more divided and it will be like a class time might be near to even we like should be divided later yeah, yeah. When they, when they because we we'll go for electives and uh, mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah that's cool there are like many classes where i've seen where there are like 10 to 15 people and they mm-hmm. stage for this many like mm-hmm. so tas are t- uh, how many tas are assigned to different courses I think it depends on the professor. I think we, uh, I think it's probably because of depends on the professor. But if on average it's three to four. Three to four. Uh, you already give a like lot. Like I would course. recommend one thing is like I would recommend you people to consider IIC more seriously. Like many people don't consider IIC, yeah. thinking that it's more research oriented. But I think like uh, IIC will be fleshed out for everything in the next few years. Hmm. Like courses are rigor, and even industry people knows it. Like, yeah. Like how rigorous the courses are. So. There is no issue in placements and all. Like you should not think like, okay, I S C is research oriented and I I T Bombay is placement oriented, so I will go for I T Bombay because there there is only Google will come and give this this package. Because in I S C also Google visits, but the thing is, uh, it depends on people like how they want to take the opportunity. Whether they want to go for research or they want to go for industrial thing. Uh, because of the what out of india collaboration most of the people get interested in, in research part of it so mm. they think okay i will go in that research lab and i will do this as thing that is like so let's see uh, this is just the first semester of uh, uh, shishit i thought maybe he will he can clear few of the things because uh, i saw many of the people asking how beta program is there in i so initially we can't comment mm. anything the yeah. only thing is they just manipulated bs a little bit Uh, like they added yeah. computing computing part in it and they just launched the en- uh, engineering aspect of uh, IC basically initially uh, there was some science aspect now it is engineering i mean like it's more like it is more uh, <laughs> closer to bs than huh. it has a lot of science thing but it will eventually really improve slowly uh, hmm. and it has really a lot of emphasis on math so i think that's a good thing hmm. no in ic everything is like you will see mostly everything is focused on math only <laughs> even i didn't expect when i joined mtech i didn't expect that a lot of <coughs> maths will be there so initially i used to think that i am good at maths but after coming to isc I, <laughs> i got to know that i just did calculations there here maths is different you yeah. usually uh, do proofs and all you write line by line you, you have to prove everything mm-hmm. you don't just do calculations like okay integrate these differentiate these those kind of questions you will not get here yeah so you will come to if you will come to i said you will get to know <laughs>